Hello everyone, and welcome to Counselor Feature Friday. I'm your host, Brian Urban. In these features, we hope to give you some simple tips, tidbits, and tricks to make your days easier and your patients happier. In this feature, we're going to talk about automatically adding questionnaires to your appointment notification emails. This is a feature where uh, you can automatically have designated questionnaires go out with specific uh, for specific appointment types. And I'll show you how that's set up and how you'd engage that process. Ultimately, though, it makes it much simpler to have your designated questionnaires go out uh, every single time versus having to manually send them out, which, of course, you can still do, but this is an, an automated option for you as well. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to Administration in the top menu bar, and then we'll go to Questionnaire Bundles. This is where you can actually set up the single or group of questionnaires that will be linked uh, within an appointment notification email. Okay, this is an essential step uh, for this process. So you may already have questionnaire bundles in place. If you do not, you can always create a new one. You simply just type in whatever description is that you want, save, and then you add questionnaires. And that allows you to see any available questionnaires within your account. You can go ahead and grab uh, whatever the case, you know, whatever it is you want. Let's say pay pay intake. And if this is all that I want to go um, out with the appointment notification for the patient to complete prior to their appointment, Great, we can stop right there. Or you could say, well, in addition to that, I also want to add, right? And let's just do this one, okay? So now we have two. So as you can see here, um, some of these may have one, some may have two. Point being is uh, the number doesn't matter. Just more than one is, I'm sorry, one or more is all you need. So once you have your bundle in place, you can see we have four here. The next step is to go into the appointment uh, types administration area. This is where we're gonna link up that bundle with the specific appointment types. And this, of course, when you scroll down, you can see your specific list of appointment types. I'm gonna take the first one here, just an audio, and click edit. Then we're gonna to go to the patient messages tab. This is the, um, the area where all the settings are contained for those automated messaging, whether it be email, text, call messaging, that can go out to a patient prior to their appointment. The appointment notification, the appointment confirmation, the appointment reminder, right? Those are a three-stage process of engaging the patient prior to their encounter. As I mentioned, with, with the appointment notification, you have the ability to specifically say, okay, um, here is our template, right? And, and most of you probably already have this set up, but I'm gonna go ahead and add an appointment notification uh, email type for this appointment type. Then I'm gonna say, all right, well, let's also add a questionnaire bundle. Okay, so we go ahead and pick. You can see the four options we have there. I'll just grab the first on the list and then I'll click save. That's it. Now it's linked up. So the next time you schedule an appointment, right? This is not retroactive. This is only going forward. Uh, the next time you schedule an appointment, when the appointment notification email goes out, it will contain a link for the patient to complete their intake forms, case histories, you know, sign on their HIPAA notice, whatever it is that you want them to complete prior to their encounter. Okay, so once we've done this, we're, we're good to go. And then, of course, you can jump into other appointment types and do the same thing. So you may have different questionnaire bundles set up for pediatric or tinnitus or vestibular or uh, new patient audio versus uh, returning patient audio. You may have a whole different set for each one. That all can be customized. Okay. Now, it's important to note that you may also want to consider uh, how your email templates look with this appointment notification built, I'm sorry, appointment, with the uh, questionnaire bundles built into the appointment notification. So you probably want to send yourself a test uh, email just to kind of see what it looks like. So maybe add yourself to the schedule. If you decide, hey, I'd like to add a little more language to my email template to really emphasize the importance of doing uh, the patient completing the um, the uh, forms prior to arrival. You can, of course, always jump into administration and then email templates. You can review that list of templates, right? So here is the one that I specifically added to my appointment, appointment notification. I'll click edit. And of course, now we can see the text. So you can go ahead, you can add text here. If you need assistance from the counselor team, we're of course very happy to help. And that only, not only includes, you know, um, potentially updating your email templates, but also helping with questionnaires if you need uh, new questionnaires built or giving you advice on bundles, those types of things, uh, we're, we're very happy to help with that process. So between, you know, uh, getting your questionnaire bundles in place and then linking them to an appointment type, very, very quickly, 
you can have those going, those um, questions going automatically. And then if you want to refine it further, of course, you can refine your email template that goes out with the appointment notification uh, just to potentially increase the likelihood that the patient or their spouse or caregiver or children will complete those questionnaires. As I mentioned, of course, if you have any questions, please give us a call, email us, live chat us. We are always happy to help. Thank you very much for joining us for today's Counselor Feature Friday. And as always, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.